So in the city of New York, experienced two big blackouts in the last uh, 40 years, uh, one in 1977 uh, and the other in 2003. In 77, the city was sliding into a very difficult place. You had middle class flight, you had the city on the edge of bankruptcy, you had uh, infrastructure that was disconnected uh, and not well maintained. You look at old pictures of, let's say, the, the, the waterfronts or the subway system or the buses, you saw a city that was in decline. Uh, and when you had the 77 blackout, you, had, you could see um, uh, what happened. It was a week plus of rioting, uh, looting, and general disorder. Uh, and you fast forward to 2003, where you have the city in a much better place. People are starting to return to the city. Crime is at, um, a, 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 at the time an all-time low. Um, you had infrastructure. We were try starting to treat our waterfronts in completely different ways. We had integrated um, three different police forces um, uh, under a single command. All of these things that are hallmarks of a resilient city. And we had just had 9-11, so people had, a, you know, there was still this glow uh, that where New Yorkers loved each other and checked on each other. Um, and, and that was still in effect. And so you had a completely different response to the 2003 blackouts than you did to the 1977. And as much as I, I, I was the, in command of the New York City Command Center the night of 2003, uh, and so as much as I'd like to take credit for that as a, you know, emergency response, preparedness kind of success story. Really, you look at what the underlying architecture of the city was in, in 2003, and you understand why the response was so different.